uh, welcome to Built on Faith Homestead, uh, where we like to talk about things like tiny houses. Uh, we like to talk about wild edibles and growing your own food and uh, teaching your kids all this type of stuff and teaching them about the Lord and being prepared uh, for the days that are to come. Uh, today is going to be a cooking video. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, we went turkey hunting and was not able to harvest the turkey, but we went also mushroom hunting later. I'll show. We also went. We also went mushroom hunting later, and um, we were able to harvest some morel mushrooms. And so today we got the yard mowed and weed eaten, um, and then uh, we're going to grill this evening. And um, our power is out at our house for some reason or another. Uh, which whatever it is what it is which is okay we we're gonna cook all the food or most of the food on the grill anyway uh, we're gonna have to do our mushrooms on the grill we were gonna batter and deep fry them the all-american way uh, but today uh, we'll just do them in some in some um, with mushrooms and onions and garlic and butter uh, saute them up we'll do all that on the wood fire grill uh, but I got to collect some firewood today's video everything we eat today um, we either harvested ourselves, grew ourselves. Or um, you are able to harvest or grow or make yourself, right? Um, there's going to be some things that we did not harvest, we did not make. Uh, there's going to be some jalapenos with some cream cheese. We didn't grow the jalapenos. We bought them. They're store-bought, uh, but we could have, right? Um, we didn't make the cream cheese, but if we ever get dairy animals, we could have made the cream cheese. Uh, we're going to wrap them in bacon. We did not harvest the bacon. Uh, if you had your own pigs, right, you could do that. Uh, we're going to make some rabbit. Uh, and we're going to make some morel mushrooms, all of that on our wood fire grill. If you've never grilled with wood, uh, you've never even, uh, so a few different ways, right? You can wood fire grill and smoke, and then you can do a campfire, which is right even better probably, or just as good anyway. Um, but if you have never cooked food with wood, uh, you are missing out, man. Uh, we also, if you guys will remember, we have a wood stove, which means we, uh, to warm our house, to heat our house, which means we always have some sort of um, junk pieces of firewood around. I usually just um, break those down. So I'm out here right now. Uh, got done mowing and weed eating. Went inside, got out of the sun for a little bit. I am sunburnt on my arms to a crisp, uh, which is going to make preaching very, very hot tomorrow. But uh, Luella is out here enjoying the good weather swinging. Um, we are going to get to work uh, making some dinner now. So come along with us. If you're interested in learning how to actually utilize um, the stuff that you harvest. That's what today's video is about. And one of my passions has always been uh, to teach people, look, battered and deep fried is one of my favorite food groups is what I call it. Uh, the other one's barbecued and smoked, right? Um, but there are other ways. Deep fried's awesome. Deep fried deer meat is amazing, right? Batter it, deep fry it, delicious stuff. But have you ever grilled it? Have you ever used it for fajitas or for tacos or anything like that? Uh, today, fried tame rabbit, delicious. No doubt about it. You can make you some mashed potatoes and some gravy off the drippings. It is amazing. But have you ever thought about grilling it? It's delicious grilled, done right. And today we're going to show you guys kind of how we do that. Uh, so stick along with us today. Come along. Uh, we'll get a wood fire built and come back to you. All right, guys. So I did not show you the... Uh, so the rabbits were already butchered, obviously. Frozen. We thawed them out. Uh, I did not show you preparing them to grill because we didn't have any power. The lights were out. Um, Lineman came and got it fixed up. We're good to go now. But um, we're still going to cook outside. Still going to cook it all outside. Uh, this is a great way. So right now we don't have any air conditioning in the house. And it's like 80 some odd degrees today. Um, great way to keep all the heat out of the house and all that good thing. Not use the electric anyway. If you're already going to use the grill... Uh, What's it going to hurt to use it to cook the rest of the stuff, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and keep using the grill. Um, but on rabbit, tame rabbit especially, uh, if you're going to grill it, uh, it's got a real thin membrane uh, on the outside of the meat, much like a rib, on the underside of a rib, that membrane that a lot of uh, professional people trim out, right? Uh, I'm not going to lie when I do ribs. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but anyhow, I didn't show you that, but you want to do that. It's really, really thin. Just run your knife in there. Um, and you can kind of trim and then pull it uh, right off. It comes off real easy. It helps it way, be way more tender whenever you cook it. Uh, but uh, right now, we have got the smoker going, or the grill going. So it's a smoker grill. Today we're, we're grilling, mostly. We have got the smoker rolling here. Some of our wood over here going. And some baked potatoes cooking on the smoker. 
right now. And we're letting them cook. Uh, got the rabbit rubbed down with some seasonings. We're doing one uh, sweet and spicy and the other one kind of savory. And then we'll show you the mushrooms here in just a little bit. All right, guys. The rabbit we just put on the smoker. Show you guys what we got going on here. Got our heat uh, over here close to the firebox on the side of the stove, but not actually it's up in the top part because it's really, I want to do this a little hotter. Uh, here's our baked potatoes getting soft. And here is our rabbit on the smoker. One sweet and spicy, one salty and savory. We'll let them cook. Here is our beautiful rabbit smoked and grilled up. We have got our baked potatoes done. We have got our onions, mushrooms, and garlic ready to go. And we just put the jalapenos on the smoker. I completely forgot about the jalapenos. So it's gonna be a while. Jalapenos with bacon and brown sugar cream cheese baked potatoes on the grill and yet uh, so that's just the foil right uh, the potatoes are cooked in there and this is our morel and onion sorry my nose is running I sound like snuffleupagus this is our morel and onion saute going on here this is yet another reason why cast iron skillets are amazing Look at that, look how beautiful and delicious that is looking. So, as you can tell, it's like rain in the background. Um, usually, uh, this is a little bit faster process than what it has been today. Um, I had just about everything done, ready to do the onions and the mushrooms, and uh, I forgot about the jalapenos. And I went in and I told Melissa, I said, we're about done, just got the onions and uh, mushrooms left. And she's like, what about the jalapenos? I was like, oh no. So we rushed around, got them in, the rabbit was done. Rabbit's bad to dry out on you. So we wrapped it, uh, put it in the pan, wrapped the pan, top of the pan in foil, put it in the oven, just to keep it warm. And uh, the oven mama was finishing her banana bread for church dinner tomorrow. And, uh, cause her power went out and she had to finish it. And so the oven was still kind of warm, and so I just slipped the um, rabbits in there. We're going to finish up these delicious onions and mushrooms, and we're going to eat. So guys, please, once again, like I said, um, all of this meal, we either harvested or grew ourselves, or it's all things you can, right? So you can grow potatoes, you can grow onions, you can go find mushrooms. Um, you could even make cream cheese if you had dairy animals. Look at that, the wind is splitting my beard. Um, you can even make cream cheese if you have dairy animals. Um, even the garlic. Now I get the seasonings and stuff, maybe not, right? Um, but, oddly enough, a lot of your wild edibles, um, you could actually dehydrate and use as seasonings. There's, there's peppery ones, there's lemony flavored ones, citrusy flavored ones, earthy flavored stuff, right? Um, all kinds of stuff that you could actually use for seasonings, which is something we're kind of uh, wanting to get into a little bit. Um, or, you know, you can grow different herbs for different flavors and those kinds of things. These onions and mushrooms are ready for the garlic. If you put the garlic on too quick or too early, it will burn. Um, all this stuff you can you can either harvest or grow yourself. Like I said, we didn't. We had to buy some of this stuff store bought. Um, but it's the ability is at least there, guys. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. It's getting late. I usually would do a reactions video, um, maybe, maybe, maybe at the end of this. But if you liking if you are liking the videos uh, that we're watching, or we're not watching them, you're watching. I'm watching them when I edit them. Um, if you like the videos that you're watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Check us out on Rumble. We're at Leaving Egypt on Rumble. Rumble. I also have a Leaving Egypt um, Bible study page on YouTube. Uh, we're trying to. I'm trying to get more content out on it. It's a lot tougher. It takes a lot more study. Um, I'm very passionate about making sure that I'm not teaching anything falsely, right? So it takes a little longer. Uh, but guys, uh, please, 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 please uh, remember to like and subscribe. We do want to thank you guys. Um, some of you guys. 
I know most of our videos, right? If we get 70 views, that's a that's a popular video for us, right? We're not super popular, and I get that. Um, but uh, you guys that are liking our videos and subscribing to our channel and all that good stuff, it's a huge deal for us, and we want to thank you guys for that. We feel like um, the Lord has called us into doing this as part of our ministry to spread the good news about Him and teach other people. And so uh, this is part of what we're doing and why we're doing what we are doing. So we want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will catch up with you guys next time.